So here I have started my Rails server and here I have started my Rails console. So let's make a post dot connection, post dot connection, and then yeah, then we this fine. Then we can type post and we could see our database like schema. So here is our database schema. Here you can see. So here we can work on this schema and let's get started. So basically, uh, I'll run my application. So yeah, this is the application. Let's add a to do new. Uh, let's give them some like task one and just for the simplicity let's add this yeah perfect task two so with the simplicity i'm going to repeat this process like for a few tasks task three yeah so here you can see that it is uh, we have created three tasks works perfectly fine but when we click on this none of them is get gets deleted so we will implement the delete functionality the first thing you need to do you need to move to this file uh, index.html.trv and you need to convert this uh, button uh, to delete okay so first let's uh, make create a out for delete so let's move to this file uh, we will move to route route erp and let's create this delete let's create delete and for that we need an id so this is not a get method this is a delete method okay uh, we go to root hash delete i hope this is fine so let's move to root hash delete so this is where we form the delete operation now let's move to our root controller and create a method delete and uh, simply let's uh, end this and uh, render json uh, params okay uh, this is fine we have made this let's move to index.html.erb and let's change this button to btn btn danger and we have changed this to beat in beat in dangers why because it will give a red color and give let's give a give it a style also so we'll move the style is equal to display display or oh, simply give margin zero auto it will move to center okay uh yeah so we can refresh this so it gives an error so let me check extracted source around let me check what this error is throwing let me check please welcome back uh, the error is like we need to check uh, i need to put a colon sign here so this was fine let's refresh this and no match for get add okay okay this is something yeah so here we have moved to the delete button so now let's click on this and this is not working okay so there seems some issue with this so this is not working let me let uh, we have created delete route and let's move to our index.html.erb yeah because it won't work because there is no href so when we say href is equal to slash delete and we need to define uh, we need to put the like we need to uh, put the id basically we need the id so we will try to find post dot id then we will close this and now, now this is fine so basically what we do we call for a delete method and with the id we pass it here another thing we need to do we need to pass data method is equal to delete because by default a uh, anchor tag has a get nature so get nature won't work here because uh, yeah, I'll, i can uh, opt for this i'll show you how uh, first i'll refresh now here you can see now i'll call this so it says get delete 9 is not possible yes it won't be possible because we had defined in a route.rb this was a delete method so let's move back to index.html.erb and make this data method data method is equal to this could be either get uh, either post uh, either get post or delete so we make it delete let's move this so let's uh, let's move to our app refresh it so let's call delete and here you can see we have a json response so it works perfectly fine what we need to do we need to move to root controller now 
and we will do at the post is equal to post post dot find params of id okay so because we need to match with the id here and we will simply say at the rate post or destroy destroy and this would delete the post and everything else remains same instead of json response we render at the rate post is equal to post dot or and render index because then we uh, this is a single post this is all the posts so let's refresh this let's check if this is working or not yeah so refresh the app let's create delete okay still it returns like json response okay let me check what's the issue yeah so now i have saved the file i must have forgot to save this now click on delete yeah now it works everything works fine because i forgot to save the file so change these changes won't save so it was like till json so now after uh, saving them the saving the file now it now reflects the changes so let's quickly check whether how to do this now to do one let's create a description to do one now to do two let's create to do two now delete both of them delete it delete it so perfectly fine so this is how we uh, get the delete functionality so let's create another functionality let's create uh okay, let's create some to do to do one and let's create this to do one to do two let's create task three let's let's create some to do's now because we, we might need to implement a new functionality and we might need them so let's do this so task so let's dummy to do let's create this as well okay so we have five to do's here and we can delete one okay just for so we deleted this so perfectly fine so let's create a search functionality for search functionality to be created we need to write a query sql query so let's write post dot where where post dot title like and this is a, a sql operator like so question mark will the question mark is like to take the value so what value we want here we want a value which is inside this okay so first what i'll do uh, i'll type here so it says select post dot star from post your post dot like null because i didn't pass anything in this in this array so that's absolutely fine uh, let's do post dot all so we get all of them so now let's do something let's take a variable query and make is our dummy okay and now let's write this query where where uh we are defining now where we need to define a percent operator and this is like a query this will take the value and this is now we again put a person operator and type this so so here it says select post dot from post your post dot title like dummy so this return this to do perfectly fine so this is the query value we had put in so this is so it's perfectly working fine so we can copy this query i had uh, posted i had wrote the same query here as well so let's move here and type define search search let's create this end so and we need to define them as at the rate post and yes this is fine and we need to define the render index uh, now the only one thing is left we need to get the query okay and the query would be our params of query okay so from where we will get this query so let's implement this uh, in our header so move to let's move to our header and here we have this input type is equal to search this is a search form which refers to this at the top right so what we can do we can define 
we can define name is equal to query because we are going to take a method is equal to get so by default it is get so let's refresh and okay, this is a, some we can ignore this so let's type hello let's type dummy dummy and let's click on search so we forgot to uh, like make a request get slash search and uh, which says to is equal to root hash search so this is what's error and now we need to put this inside an action okay so we would move to our header dot html dot drb and we need to put this inside an action so basically this name this method should be get I uh, put this entire wrong place so this is get an action is equal to search so I hope it should work now so let's type dummy and let's hit the button so yeah so undefined local or with variable method query okay so it's like a small error I figured out and we need to find the root controller and this should be at the rate query let's refresh this and here you can see the dummy has been searched successfully let's type to do and let's search it get many to do's dummy to do and to do because both of them have a to do keyword so this is how we operate, operate the search operation thank you everyone for watching this tutorial i'll catch you in the next one thank you